Password accepted. You may now enter the bunker. And welcome everybody to Enter the Bunker. Thank you for joining us today as we introduce the brand new Enter the Bunker that's coming next month. Yep. Very May exciting. May 3rd. So mark your calendars, subscribe, hit the like button, wherever you're watching us from right now, because we are simulcasting live all over on Facebook, on Twitch, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. Yes. That one. YouTube. And YouTube. and YouTube. Of course you're on YouTube. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. My name is Jonathan Baha'i. I am the co-host of Venture the Bunker. I am married with two children and a total crypto geek. And in this show, we will be talking about some interesting things. And before I get into that, I'd love to introduce you to my other co-host here. That's me. Um, my name is Kelly Cadell, also co-host of the show, as you can see. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for the good weather, but today is really cold and... Uh, what happened? I don't know. It's snowing again. Yeah, it started snowing yesterday. Yeah. I don't know. I'm freezing, though. It's so cold out there. Why can't we get global warming going? Come on. Oh, like, what? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Um, so today, guys, we are doing something a little fun. So yes. you guys can join in. Please do. Um, but like Jonathan said, make sure you follow all our socials um, at Enter the Bunker for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Yeah. YouTube. <laughs> Um, and so again, today we are doing two truths and a lie. Yes. Um, that is, uh, it's going to be fun. You said yours are quite interesting and that we're not going to be able to guess it, but I beg to differ. I think I'll be able to guess them. Do you think? We will see. <laughs> we will see. We will see. So you guys can give us your two truths and a lie and we will try to guess yours as well. Yes. Um, ba -da -da -da. Da, da, da. What else? Um, should I get started? Wait, one second. Yeah. Let's get. You say yours. Let's hear yours first. You want me to start? Yeah. Well, we'll wait for somebody to give us theirs, and in the meantime, we're waiting for you guys to give us yours. And in the meantime, you tell me yours. Okay. Tell them yours. All right. Tell we'll start us. with my two truths and a lie. So the way this goes is, I'm going to give you two truths and a lie, and everyone has to guess. Which one is the lie? Is this how this works? Yes. Yes. So yeah. uh, here we go. My two, my, my two truths and a lie. Figure it out. One, I've been shot at with an assault rifle. I lifted a car with my bare hands at the age of 13. I've traveled to every continent around the world. What is the lie? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I know the rifle. It's right. I don't know if you specifically were. Is there any like tricks to them? Like, There's no tricks. Okay. I don't know if you were specifically though. I know the bus that you were on was. Chad, okay. do you know what the answer is? Yeah. If, you've been if you've been watching the show for a while, you probably know the answer uh, because I have told these stories in the past. Uh, so you'd really have to be a very close watcher to know the, the answer to these things. I've been shot at with an assault rifle. I've lifted a car with my bare hands at the age of 13, and I traveled to every continent around the world. Which one is the lie? Every continent. How many continents are there? I don't know. I don't think you've ever been to Russia. I'm going, the lie is I traveled to every continent in the world. Chat, what do you think? That's my guess. Oh, no. Hari thinks the lie is the car, that I couldn't lift a car but with my bare hands at age 13. Do you see the size of me? I, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was a pretty big boy when I was younger. So another person said, no name and hair twa, ta, ta, both think the lie is the car. OK, no name. They both think the and lie I is the car. And I think the lie is the travel to every continent, because I don't think you've been to Russia or Australia. Is Australia a continent? Australia is a continent, yes. yes. But Russia is actually not a continent. It is a country, Oh. and it is part of Asia. Oh, well, you've definitely been there. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, sticking, to my, I'm sticking to it, to every continent in the world. OK. Oh, okay Car Carl is schooling you on this, too. He's saying Russia is part of Euro-Asia Euro continent. Yes. yes. 
Oh, Jeff thinks car too. Jeff thinks the car the car's a lie too. Yeah. Okay, guys, you can give us two truths and a lie as well, and we'll try to guess yours. Now it's time to give us the answer. It's time for me to answer? Yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. The lie out of all of these is I have traveled to every continent around the world. Yeah, I got it right! Did you guys get it right? I no. almost <laughs> did. I almost did. But the truth is I have not been to South America. Or? Or Australia. Yeah, yet. I was going to say South America as well that you yeah. went there. I've like, been to everywhere else though in the world. That's crazy. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I'm glad I got it right. Um, and I did lift, and for those of you watching, I actually did lift a car when I was 13 years old with my bare hands. It was a very small car, mind you. It was like one of those sprints. Like, I don't know, it was like a Pontiac Sprint, right? Like, they're practically like a, like a go-kart. Or was it, was it in like a dire situation? Like, was somebody stuck under it? Were you like, because that's when they say those muscles come out that you can do stuff like that. A dire social situation? I don't know. I was showing off to everybody at the school, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, and so I was lifting it, and I held it up for a while, and then I dropped it. And when I did that, apparently I broke the fuel line, and I got suspended. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That's crazy. So that's me at 13. Yeah, that's great. That's great. All right, guys, so make sure you send us your two truths. Somebody said you've been to Antarctica. Antarctica? Well, I don't think you can you? I don't know. No, I really haven't, honestly. So sorry. Is Greenland part of a? Is Greenland a continent? Greenland is that considered a continent? I don't know. I, thought, I, I was I was considered that a part of North America. Yeah, North America is what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my first so. two truths and a lie. Okay, it's Kelly's okay. turn. Okay, That's chat. Exciting. Be sure to share with us yours because uh, we want to share. We want to see what kind of two truths and lies you can give us in the chat, and we'll share with share them on the show and see if we get which one is right. Um. Okay, so mine are, I traveled right after high school. My family moved to Nova Scotia in a bus. I've owned five cars in my life. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so you traveled right after high school. Yep, I you traveled right after high school. Right after high school. My family moved home to, moved home to Nova Scotia on a bus. On a bus. And I have owned five cars in my life. And you've owned five cars in your life. This is a toughie. Guys, guess it. What Chat, do you think? What do you think? What do you think is the lie out of those three? Did she move on a bus? Maybe. Uh, travel right out of high school, though? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah. And then five cars. Well, I know you already, I know some of the ones you've already totaled. Yeah. You know, oh Why is this such a topic today? Mowing down, <laughs> mowing down deers and everything. So, so yeah, I know that you've gone through, what, two? No, you only had one. You only like killed one car while you've been working here. Yes. Yeah. I've I mean, only. Yeah. I've only. I'm in my second car while working here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the question is, is you had like three more before that? Is the question. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Chat, you got to help me out here because I'm not sure about this one. We got to figure out what's going on here. So, uh, fake is still, oh, still Kara talking Kara says, about I think traveled after high school is a lie. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You're like trying to read me right now. <laughs> I have two dogs and I shot a Oh, we'll, we'll do you, Russell, oh, as soon okay, as... Okay, we're doing Russell, okay. Yeah, so guess the line. I'll tell, I'll tell the line in a second and then we'll do yours, Russ. Okay. Um, so should I... Is now the time for me to guess? Or are we yeah, going to let the chat well get a little bit more? I know, I was guessing right away. I was like, no, I'm guessing first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so the three options are travel out of high school, yep. moved on the bus. Yep. I, I believe the bus thing. Yeah, I believe that. I'm uh, pretty sure I've told something. No. <laughs> Just give it all away. <laughs> so, bus thing, I, I believe. Um, five cars in your lifetime, though. That's, that's a bit hard to believe. And at the same time, like traveling right after high school, yeah. you're not much of a traveler. Like, you, you, you probably like, went right into getting into a job right after high school. And truthfully, I've never heard you talk about anything to do with going someplace after high school. 
Now, when you say travel, do you mean like out of province, or do you mean like? Right. I mean like I mean like travel like Europe and Turkey. And, okay. You know. So you went to Turkey, did you? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So okay. Uh, yeah. Don't believe that. <laughs> so I think uh, I think the lie is that you traveled right out of high school and the rest of the car yeah and you just kept totaling deers with your cars as you as, as you <laughs> went through life lot? i, I think that's what's been going on here the whole time yeah <laughs> okay you're right i did not travel right out of high school yes. <laughs> i almost had you though maybe or you're just playing it off like i did okay um russell i have oh jeff said travel too good oh, job Jeff. good job jeff you nailed that one um Oh, I also want to mention, fun fact, since it is two truths and a lie, I will, I told everybody on Tuesday that they'd be meeting the new team today, but I lied. Oh. So, you're not meeting them today, but you'll meet them a week from today, and I promise that. That's the truth. Okay, so Russell says, I have two dogs, I have shot a gopher, and I have a PS4. Ooh, tough. I have two gogs, I've shot a gopher, and I have a PS4. Russell. Okay, Russell. Well, I think the lie is that you have two dogs. I think the lie is that you have a PS4. I think you have either a PS3 or an Xbox. What? PS4. Enter the bunker thinks PS4 is a lie, too. Really? All right, Russell, tell us what the truth is or what the lie is. Doesn't yeah, tell us dogs. what the lie is. He has one dog. You think he has one dog? Yeah. Yeah, that is like a tricky one, eh? Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see what he says. Okay, saying. Russell, let us know what the lie is. We've, we've made our guesses. She thinks it's the PS4. I think it's the dogs. And Enter the Bunker thinks it's the PS4, too. At least we agree on that he shot a gopher before. Yeah, we all think he shot a gopher. Did he eat it? <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, we all agree. We really think you would shoot a gopher. So, <laughs> so that's definitely got to be true. <laughs> Imagine that be the lie. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't I'm know. Waiting. I, I think because it's just so outlandish, like, why of all things you shoot? Like, if you say you shot a bird or something like that, that's that's that makes sense. But yeah. why would you shoot? Like, you know, to say you shot a gopher is very specific. It is. You know, like it's not the kind of thing you'd try to make up. Fun story. Yeah. While we wait for him to tell us what the lie was, I shot a woodcock with a slingshot. I remember this. And I ate it. And she ate it. <laughs> And it was delicious. It tasted like chicken. The lie is I have a PS4. Yeah! Dang it. Okay. <laughs> See that? So excited, so excited. All right. Uh, any, somebody else tell us two truths and a lie. Hera, Hera Tawa, tell us what your two truths and a lie is. Do you want to do another one? I'll, I'm, this is fun. I know we're probably supposed to be cutting this off like now, but let's keep going. Okay. Is it my turn to do one? Yeah. Okay, chat, give us another one and we'll, we'll get started on it. But uh, kill, kill the go for the BB gun. <laughs> nice. Hope you ate it. Okay. <laughs> we got to do a whole show on, like, Kelly eats game. Like, let's, let's just do that. Okay, here are my three truths and lie. All right, let's hear them. Here you go. I used to be a hardcore, so, sorry. I used to be hardcore into bodybuilding. I was once known f by many as the wolf man. I broke my ankle when I was a teenager playing basketball. What is my lie? <laughs> ah, what, say them again. I used to be a hard, sorry, I used to be, I used to be hardcore into bodybuilding. Yeah. I was once known by many as the wolf man. I broke my ankle when I was a teenager playing basketball. The wolf man. Okay, I'm saying <laughs> basketball. You broke your ankle. Oh. Playing basketball. Okay. What do you guys think it is? So, you were once known as the wolf man. You were hardcore into bodybuilding. And you broke your ankle playing basketball when you were a teenager. Yes. All right. Yes, I am going with... Oh. No, I didn't eat it because I found it in the street. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Lee Shi, just uh, yeah. Um, oh, okay then. You should have really eaten the deer that you hit with your car, Kelly, because then we could have had another story. The meat would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, Carl sent in Carl's Bitcoin. Ooh. Carl's Bitcoin. Um, okay, so that's oh. Enter the bunker. Our enter the bunker crew think Wolfman is a lie. Oh, think that's the lie. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys gonna guess? You guys. You. You. I. I know my. I've guessed my guess. Mine is the broke the ankle. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm debating between that and the Wolfman. The wolf man. Man. Yeah. But I can picture you being called the wolf. You'd be like, oh, woo! <laughs> you can picture me being called the wolf, man. Yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> I just see it. Okay, okay. I guess nobody's going to guess, so tell us the answer. Okay. The lie is, and this is a really small twist on, on truth, ah. is that I broke my ankle when I was a teenager playing basketball. What I, in fact, did was I dislocated my ankle oh, while I was playing basketball. Because I was like, I've never heard this story. I don't know if you've ever broken any bones. Have you? I have never broken no, any I bones. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, and so it was actually amazing. Like, actually, the doctors were, like, studying me and everything when I came into the hospital because they couldn't believe how my ankle had been dislocated. Oh, I don't like talking about And there stuff. were no broken bones. Like, oh. they were just like, look at this. And they were taking pictures and everything. And they were just like, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, can you just fix me? Yeah, uh, <laughs> so, just fix me get me out of here. So. So yeah, so that's the only major injury I think I've ever had, Crazy. And, uh, uh, but no broken bones. Uh, I was once known as the wolf man. Yes! I was. Actually, I was- Did you howl? I, I had a howl. Oh. Ah. I, was the howl I was the wolf man. <laughs> And I was, it was my, it was my alias um, because I was like a PA announcer. Yeah. And so that was my whole alias and everybody knew me as Wolfman. Man, at that time I had like chops and everything. Oh my like, God. Like I actually I looked it. like, I actually looked a lot like Wolverine, which is why they called me Wolfman. <laughs> it's true. It's I true. Can, I yeah. picture that. I really do. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Carl's Bitcoin says two truths and a lie. I took a year of plumbing in college. I didn't know how to tie my shoes until grade 10. That's probably going to be my kids unless I start teaching them. And I have a terrifying fear of spiders. That's funny. I was going to use spiders for one of mine. So two truths. I took a year of plumbing in college. I, don't know, I didn't know how to tie my shoes until grade 10. And I have a terrifying fear of spiders. Whew. Didn't know how to tie your shoes until grade 10. I believe that one. Really? Yeah. That is not nice to Carl, thinking he could not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Carl, but it just seems completely out The guy's there. into Bitcoin. He's clearly pretty smart. Right. <laughs> so how did he not be able to rub <laughs> tie shoes? Because they all come like, with the laces, and you can just slip them on nowadays. Yeah. I don't know how old Carl is, so uh, I think that, I mean, like, two truths and lies that he took a year of plumbing in college, who does who does who does a year of plumbing in college? Like, is that where you're? I was wondering if it was two year program plumbing. Yeah, maybe any dropped out. Um, and then there's a terrifying fear of spiders. How do you get into plumbing and have a fear of spiders? Because you're gonna get those all the time. Right? You're doing plumbing. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey Sam. I see what you're doing there, Carl. Okay. I see. What I guess you bank your guess. All right, Carl, we're making our guesses. Get ready to type out what it is. I'm guessing. I want to hear what you say first. Then I'm, oh, well, <laughs> I'm guessing. Come on, 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 come on. A year of plumbing in college. That's my guess. Yeah, that's your guess too? Yeah, I'm okay. going to say that that was, uh, that was a lie uh, because I don't know why you would do that, honestly. Yeah. That's just crazy talk. What do you mean? That's what you have to do to become a plumber. Just one year, though? I don't know. No way. He's, we're about to find out. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, maybe he did the year of plumbing, and then he, during that time, he bought Bitcoin, and now he didn't have to go anymore, so he yeah. just, that could have happened, I understand. Good, good. But the fact that he's afraid of spiders, and then he took plumbing, that's, yeah, totally, I either that's think a little bit sus. I think it's either that yeah. one or the fear of spiders, but. All right. Enter the bunker, got it right. I don't have a fear of spiders. No. Oh. Ah, that's why he took plumbing because he's not. Yeah, because he's not afraid of spiders. 
Okay. Darn it, darn it. Okay, here's my last one. Sam, you just joined. We're doing two truths and a lie. If you can think of one for you, type her in the chat. In the meantime, while we wait for you, I'm going to name off two truths and a lie. And you guys have to guess what it is. Here we go. Okay, so... Um, I am 30 years old. I eat breakfast every morning and I hang it with a monkey every summer. What? <laughs> <laughs> you hang it with a monkey every summer? Yeah. This is what you come up with? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, you're 30 years old. You eat breakfast every morning and you hang out with a monkey every summer. Yeah. Okay. Chat, let us know what you think is the lie. What do you think is the lie? Um, Carl's Bitcoin is um, Riley. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, that's, funny. that's pretty good alias. If I had have known that, I, if I knew that was Carl's Bitcoin, if I knew that was Riley, I would have known the plumbing was true. I still would have actually guessed the plumbing because <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and I wouldn't even thought of that of him because he loves tech so much. Russell thinks the last one, I hang it with a monkey every summer, is a lie. Yeah, that's a bit sus, I got to admit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, eat breakfast every morning? Gee, I don't know. When I think about it, every time I come to your desk, I kind of always see food. <laughs> so maybe it's true. Uh, are you 30? Gee, I don't know. Uh, that's a possibility. Enter the bunker says 30 years is the lie. Oh, yeah. I know, because I look 22. Didn't you just admit that it's, that, 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 that the age is different? Like, because you said, because I look? I don't know what I meant. I don't know what I said. I'm a terrible liar, okay, you guys? Like... <laughs> Okay, hey, what's the lie? What's the lie? What are you going to guess? All right, chat, let us know what you think Kelly's lying about. Uh, I am going to guess that... <laughs> I, I have to go with the monkey. I just have to. Like, it's just... It just has to happen that way. You're going with the monkey? You don't hang out with a monkey every summer. You just don't. Russell that, says it's, it's the monkey, too. It's redonkulous. So the lie is I eat breakfast every morning. Oh. Yes. But I see you with a breakfast sandwich like every day. No, you don't. Maybe at like 11 o'clock. That doesn't count as breakfast. It's still in the morning. No, it doesn't count. What counts as That's breakfast like then? Be eating breakfast before you come to work. Well, uh, uh, you better let everyone else know that because I see people doing that all the time. <laughs> Anyways, I do hang out with a monkey every summer. Um, my sister's parents-in-law own a monkey. They live in northern Ontario. Or Ontario. And yeah, they own a monkey. Her name's Chiquita. Oh. She sits on my lap and picks through my hair. and. Literally the banana Chiquita monkey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I have pictures if you guys want to see them. Sitting on my lap. Okay. Um, okay, so... Okay, Sam has two truths and a lie. And should we do that one? All yeah. right. Okay, we'll do this one, and this will be the last one, guys. Last one. Um, by the way, I suck at two truths and a lie, but let's see, he says. I have 1.5 in Bitcoin in a locked wallet where I can't find the password to. I've designed aircraft seats for the military, and I'm a decent lock picker. Oh. -ho. I think you're tricking us somewhere is within like the 1.5 Bitcoin. I think you probably have like one or 0.5. Because I remember you saying this one time, I think, Sam. I've designed aircraft seats for the military and I'm a decent lock picker. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say that him having his 1.5 BTC locked that he can't get into. Is the lie? Is the lie. Okay, and I'm saying, all right, get ready to tell us, Sam. I'm saying, ah, oh, the lock picker, the lock picker. That's what I'm saying. Lock Everyone picker. thinks he's not a decent lock picker. Okay. 
I'm a decent. I think you're a real good or terrible, one or the other. Way to, way to be diplomatic about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So while we wait for your answer, Sam, we do have a quote of the day that we forgot to bring up at the beginning. So oh, yeah. we'll end off with the quote. Uh, don't forget to like everything, all of our social media, which is TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And yeah. Oh, it's all on the bottom there. Look at that. <laughs> Very nice, folks. Okay. So the truth, so the, 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 you read it because I can't talk right now. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I've never designed seats for the military, civilians only. Oh. You little trickster. Neither one of us got it. Oh. Good one, good one. Okay. You're quote. such a liar. You're such a liar. The truth is still the truth, even if no one believes it. A lie is still a lie, even if everyone believes it. Power of positivity. Power of positivity. Mm -hmm. Truth is still the truth, even if no one believes it. A lie is still a lie, even if everyone believes it. That is, that's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Yep. So, um, <coughs> yeah, in our previous shows, we used to talk about these a lot. Yes. So, chat, tell us. How do you feel about this, this uh, particular quote? We don't have a lot of time, but we'd love to hear your feedback on it. Uh, the truth is still the truth, even if no one believes it. Do you think that's still the case in, these, in this day and age? A lie is still a lie, even if everyone believes it. So I think for that's, myself, I mean, you, know, you were about to say something. Yeah, I was just gonna say like, I, for like the truth thing, like if I know something's the truth, I don't give a crap who believes it or not, because I know it's still the truth, so. Are you sure about that? I try not to give a crap. <laughs> well, because there's a, I mean, there's a such thing as, there's a thing that's, a term that's been rather popular lately is, is what's called gaslighting. Do you know what that means? Um, no. <laughs> so gaslighting is a method of manipulation to make you question your own sanity. Okay. Okay, so you basically would have to, uh, so, so to be gaslit means like, you don't actually, like, you would be told something and it might be completely false, yep. but it's told in such a way that even though you know it's not true, you believe it, right? And you think it's true even though it's not, it's a form of manipulation. Huh. So it gets you questioning your own sense of right and wrong. I don't know if I have that problem. Right? Well, that's just it. It's a, that's what's so yeah, absolutely you wouldn't even know, thing really. about it is that, yeah, you don't know when you're being gaslit unless yeah. something really breaks it and like completely reveals the wizard behind the, the, the curtain, so to speak. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute, right? Yeah. So this isn't the great, powerful Oz, right? Exactly. So it's difficult these days, I think, for people to understand, like even if no one believes the truth, like to be able to stand by it. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, the lies, um, even if everyone believes it, is even harder. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it would be. So uh, when no one believes you, it's really hard to stand by those things. Yeah. But someone who has a positive mental attitude and is absolutely like, you know, they, they have absolute conviction in who they are yep. and understanding what they believe in, then they can be able to like make the, def be able to make these differentiations and be able to like have conviction in what they stand by. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think... We got to close her up, but don't worry. We'll be back on Tuesday, same time, 1130 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, don't forget, like everything. All that stuff along the bottom. <laughs> like everything. <laughs> Just like everything. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok. Follow, like, subscribe. Do what you've got to do to be part of the Bunker Crew. Woo. That was a good one. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> all right, guys. So um, we're also going to make a post on any guesses what we're doing new this come May 3rd. So be sure to comment on that post and let us know what you think that we're going to be doing that's new. All right, guys. We shall see you Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Bye. Have a great weekend.